Hey everyone, welcome to my first video from the anatomy of a webcomic series that I'm going to be doing. I will be showing you guys how I approach the production of my own webcomic called Dijoir. And in this, uh, in, these, in this series of videos, I'm going to show you how I lay out the stuff, how I draw it or pencil it, and then, you know, eventually ink it on paper. And you guys can follow me watching all this stuff and you know doing all this stuff of course and uh, I hope that you guys will be able to learn something from what I'm doing here if you're interested in reading the comic please go to my uh, Facebook page it's called at Sedat Özgen Art and if you're interested in seeing my rather rough kind of stuff please go to my Instagram it's at Sedat Özgen and if you like this stuff please subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments what you think about this stuff and if you have you know friends that are trying to pull off their own webcomic and they are not sure how to do it maybe this is the right place for them to get inspired to do their own thing let me know what you guys think i appreciate it if you comment subscribe or like this stuff thank you for tuning in and now off to the video bye bye Okay, everyone. So, as you can see, I am starting with a uh, perspective grid that I'm doing in Clip Studio Paint. I am doing my layouts digital for um, these panels. And the reason why I'm doing that is obviously because I want to be able to, um, you know, fix things and change things in this uh, part or segment of the drawing because you know um, doing that on paper would be a little bit um, you know uh, um, too tedious and too time consuming and you know I don't have that much time for uh, these drawings and I think doing it digital also allows me a little bit you know to to you know contemplate and uh, change things that I usually wouldn't be able to change and you'll you know in just a few seconds you'll understand why that is because some of the stuff that I'm doing here doesn't work and you know I have the ability to change and add stuff as I go and if I like it I can you know keep it and if I don't like it I can just remove it without wasting too much time and um you know, now now I've gone for um, the basically using two silhouettes to frame the uh, um, character in the center of the drawing. You know, since our focus is supposed to be on the guy in the center, uh, I thought that um, adding you know these two silhouettes behind him, and then you know adding another layer of uh, people walking by would make it interesting and I think it worked and as you can see you know there are things like you know me changing the this guy's arm uh, or you know moving this character that I'm drawing now later on um, more to the right in order to you know uh, have her overlap with uh, the silhouette and not have a tangent in the drawing or tangent and and you know I think that's it's always the most important thing and this is this is very important for especially uh, uh, younger people is isn't the tools that you're working with but the um, final result and you know nobody cares which tools you use whether you work digital or whether you work on paper or you know as long as you get the job done and as long as you make it look cool that's the most important uh, thing and that's the most important part about this whole thing and since I you know wanted to have um, something really cool there I made it um, you know I, I started it with a uh, digital layout and then later on went onto the paper and you know I think um, a lot of people have you know wrong opinions about working digital in some regards some say it's cheating some say uh, you know I don't know some say uh, you have to be able to create everything you do digital on paper as well and 
you know, I don't think that I wouldn't be able to do this stuff on paper. It just allows me to be faster. It's basically like, you know, it's like if someone, if a writer, you know, would write his book on uh, um, paper or if he would uh, write it on Microsoft Word. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't change anything about his intellectual uh, or his intellect and his his the idea behind it and that's that's the most important thing about it you know it, um, it's not about you know uh, showing off what you can do on paper or digital or whatever it's about bringing bringing across an idea that you have in your head and you know for me the most important thing here is to present this story that I was, you know, harboring in my head for probably 15 years now, and I've never really uh, um, worked on it. And I, you know, I keep, I kept thinking about doing it, and then I, you know, I, I tried to do it in a full comic format, but obviously that doesn't, you know, it there it's too time consuming, and you know. Then I wanted to do it on uh, um, as a web comic, but I, you know, wanted to do it on paper, all on paper, and you know, it didn't work. And I finally finally found a way to do it. And as you can see, I printed out the digital layout, and I'm now putting it on the uh, lightbox, and I'm going to, you know trace it with the lightbox. I don't like to use the word trace here because it's not, you know, actual tracing, but you know, whatever. I'm using it as a projector, I would say, because uh, as you can later on see, I will be making, you know, minor changes, some tweaks here and there, and I'm doing that because I want to keep some sort of freedom for myself. Uh, in how I approach certain things and how I do things and how I'm going to change things because maybe I will see something that I didn't or that I don't like that much um, and I want to be able to, to change it. You know, a lot of artists would probably go and print it out onto the uh, drawing board and then just uh, uh, ink over it no, and I think that's that's a pretty cool uh, approach. But in my case, the problem is that I uh, always feel a little bit, um, you know, crippled or limited by by uh, printing it out on paper because uh, you know I always have the compulsion to uh, um, make those lines disappear under the inks and then I'm going to you know over ink it or you know over render it and that's not that's not the the um, purpose of all of this this is supposed to be fun and I'm trying to make this as fun as possible and since I don't have that much time to work on you know uh, different or other things than my uh, uh, projects that I, you know, my assignments that pay my bills. Um, I have to make due with uh, with the possibilities that I have here, which means that I do digital layouts. I, you know, trace it onto the drawing board or project it on the drawing board and then of course going to ink it on the drawing board and as you can see with the inks I'm starting with a um, aqua water brush that I filled with ink and I'm spotting the blacks here this is usually a little bit um, of a nerve-wracking uh, aspect for me at least uh, of the um, drawing because or the drawing part because um, I always find it very difficult to spot the blacks correctly and to make it look balanced and interesting because um, you know sometimes you can add too much blacks or sometimes you're not adding enough blacks in order to uh, make it readable for the viewers and then you'll end up with something that's not, 
not as good as you could probably you know do it with other drawings but right now I'm liking what I'm doing and that's why I'm continuing you know um, I am adding just you know bits and pieces of blacks onto these uh, side characters you know I don't know who these guys are they were just in my head but the cool thing with you know a project like this is that you are the creator you are creating your own world everyone looks exactly how you want them to look you know I'm not forced to make them look like normal people that you would meet on the street wearing a suit wearing a dress this is my world I am the creator I can do whatever I want to if I want to I can you know give someone uh, I don't know five ears and uh, uh, ten eyes as long as it's, you know it's not conflicting with the story or you know as long as it works in the premise of the story hey nobody cares but you know of course that's not uh, the case uh, here the you know the freedom that I like about this is that I can design the characters the way that I want to and I want to make them look interesting I want to make them look as if you guys would be interested to find out who these guys are if they would you know reappear in uh, I don't know later on in the story you know of course these guys that you see there except the guy in the center are probably never going to reappear but you know who knows maybe uh, in one of those uh, following crowd scenes maybe I will draw someone that we've seen before who knows would be an interesting Easter egg and as you can see I am now uh, spotting the blacks on the main character the main character is uh, called Dejoir. Dejoir is from my uh, original language Gurmanji and Dejoir actually means um, you know tough relentless and the character in this story is exactly that um, and yeah I think I think you know I've been harboring this idea for so long in my head that there were so many aspects of this that you know wanted to come out of me in one way or another and I've never been really able to do that properly and I hope that I can somehow continue to do or you know start doing that here and will continue doing it uh, um, here on this platform um, I think you know it's it's it may be interesting for you guys to you know if you're a, uh, a beginner or someone who's you know has been doing this for a while um, I think it's always interesting to watch other comic book artists or illustrators do uh, uh, whatever they are doing but you know um, I didn't just want to be the guy who's, uh, you know, drawing, you know, the the one millionth uh, Batman pinup on YouTube or the one millionth uh, Hulk or Wolverine drawing, and that's why I am, you know, sharing the the, the process or the progress of my webcomic with you guys. I am going to be uploading this uh, final webcomic or the, the final panels onto my Facebook account and you can also it's uh, my Facebook page is um, at Sedat Özgen Art and if you want to um, follow me that would be really nice if you you know if you're interested to see uh, what I'm doing you can also follow me on Instagram which is usually the best uh, it's at Sedat Özgen and um, you know I'm posting usually very regular and um, trying to keep it fun and I hope you guys you know enjoy what you see and if, if you enjoy what you see and if you think hey wow this stuff is uh, something that my buddy uh, I don't know Pete would like to see you know please subscribe share comment and uh, like the video because um, if you guys show me that you actually enjoy this and you know if you uh, have fun um, with this you know then I will be motivated to uh, post more of this stuff for sure and uh, I will also you know uh, 
hopefully be able to continue it then because you know whether other artists want to admit it or not but as artists we also want want to you know know that people like our stuff you know whether other artists admit you know admit to this kind of uh, uh, behavior or not is a different thing but in my case i have to admit that if people tell me hey you know i like your stuff i you know i really love this stuff then i you know feel like i'm more motivated to do it because then i know it affects people you know sometimes people come to me and they will tell me you know hey man your work is really inspirational for me and i love what you're doing on instagram or facebook or whatever and you know it's totally unexpected because you know sometimes when when you when you're on facebook or instagram people won't you know tell you this but when you meet them in person and they tell you that they like your work and that your work inspires them that's a cool feeling and you know i'm glad if i can inspire someone else i mean obviously i'm not the next jim lee or travis sheray but i think uh if i'm able to uh entertain someone if i'm able to inspire someone then that's a cool thing and you know and uh i hope that you guys can you know learn something from these videos because um you know unlike you guys uh when i came up i didn't you know have uh these kind of tutorials or how to draw videos or whatever they are called or draw alongs i don't know wh what it's called but you know i would just i was back then i was happy when i when i was able to see like sketches from artists online somewhere and uh you know i would have loved to to be able to see you know somebody uh whose work i like drawings draw, you know creating drawing or a comic panel because i assume that i would have learned so much from these people but you know um maybe these panels can be inspiring to you or your friends or your kids or i don't know whoever and uh yeah I am now adding details to the background to make the background look, you know, a little bit more realistic and also, you know, look as if it has been lived in and as if it has been used. And, you know, I, I am not, I don't like shiny science fiction kind of stuff. You know, I prefer the grunge gritty cyberpunk uh alien blade runner sort of uh dystopian view of the future and it obviously you know shows in my artwork a lot because i'm a you know big ridley scott fan and uh, i have always been inspired by him and you know there is no denying that and i think you know um i think it's absolutely all right and you know i like i like rough things i li i don't like shiny things you know there are some people who are more into like i don't know um star wars episode 1 and episode 2 and episode 3 where everything is very shiny super uh clean cut design but i like the the you know used future sort of um look because you know if you look at somebody's car or somebody's um, clothing when you meet them outside they will probably look like as if they have been used before and not as if they just came out of a out of the uh, um, out of a manufacturing uh, system or whatever it's called they look used and um i want my you know pictures to look like that as well i am now adding a, a bit of screen tone here in order to uh, put more emphasis on the main character in the middle of the picture and you know i think all of this works in that regard that it makes everything look a little bit you know dirty gritty 
and it's not too dirty it's not too gritty but i think it has the right amount of both of it and as we uh move on there will be you know more uh, of these things because you know sometimes when you look at the way people dress you'll see some people care more about it and some less and i think it's interesting to have something like that in the artwork as well we're now heading towards the end of the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i would appreciate if you liked comment subscribed to my channel and uh, follow me on my other social media outlets as well thank you very much for tuning in and see you soon bye bye